Okay, so you might be wondering what is going on here. Now, as you can see, when this painting turns around, there's nothing there. But when you look from the front, it looks like there is something inside. There's depth to this painting, making it very deep. And as you can see, there's all, also this uh, a figure. You know, it looks like a heart. You can't really make out what this really is. And, and that's, you know, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. And since I'm such, such an art creator and art genius and art critic, I can teach you how to do this with uh, Cinema 4D using very, very, very simple technique in Redshift. Okay, so let me just quickly show you what's going on in this scene. As you can see, there's the sphere, which is what I use to create is create this heart. There will be a link in the description if you are interested in a very uh, easy way to how to create this heart. And this heart, as you can see uh, in this render view, is seen only in uh, in here. And this uh, this and the reason is very simple. The material which is applied to this um, screen over here is simply a reflective uh, node which is as you can see here I think yeah there's reflection and there's no diffuse and this redshift object tag what it does it uh, if you apply it to let's say the sphere uh, which is the object you want to be seen only inside of this painting you apply this redshift object tag to it and deselect this primary ray visible so it won't be seen in the world let's just say and it will be only seen in reflections and this way you can create this feeling that there is um the the painting is deep it's magical you know it's it's very well it's deep that's all there needs to be said about this now let me quickly create another scene here and let me just take something this heart from the previous scene and yeah also there is this water here and as you can see it uh, flows and it's created by xp ocean it's very simple this xp ocean and uh, uh, yeah um, okay so if i go in a new scene and i create a plane and let me just turn this plane to plus Z and move this up and create a uh, let's say redshift sky so it's not that complicated now I will use I will actually take new materials here and what I'm gonna do you know there's there's already this redshift tag from the previous um, scene so I'm gonna delete this and now uh, I'm gonna do the same thing starting over from from nothing okay now i will create a material here i will change the weight to zero and i will turn on the reflection to one which is already there now i will apply this to the um to this plane and i'm not sure why it's so black i think it was something like um let me just go in my project and check yeah it's ior is three and for some reason it makes uh, it lighter whatever i don't know why it works this way maybe you can write in the comments why is it you know i'm an art genius i'm not a technical genius okay um now and yeah it's actually very simple you just take this plane uh, no not the plane but the sphere search for redshift uh, object and oh, click override and disable primary ray visible and now as you can see uh, the heart is visible only in the reflection and now if you move this heart right in front of this uh, plane and you create a box let's say a box like this let me just go in this front view and increase the size of this box like so like this and now i will do this actually uh 
I will click C to make this editable. And now I will take this polygon, I will delete this, go back to the model mode. And now I will drag, hold on control and drag this tag here. So it's du duplicated. And now, as you can see, I think this cube needed to be um, also not seen by the hmm. let me just check what's going on here one more time i will delete this to see what i did here because i actually don't remember you know um there's one more thing you need to do if you want this to not be um visible let me check oh oh yeah this is probably because there are no lights inside probably yeah so if there are no lights inside of this cube you won't be able to see um the the heart so now if i add the display tag here and click use and lines so it's easier to see in the viewport. Um, now you can see that this, um, you know, you, you can see this effect. You can create this kind of magical mirror. And as you can see, if you move this cube closer here, you can get this effect. Uh, well, you can make it, um, you know, more precise. So yeah, I'm gonna, not going to waste more of your time uh, by tinkering around with this. Uh, this is the basic uh, idea how to create this mirror. And I think I got the painting from Sketchfab. You can search, search for, um, I think, painting frames. And there are a lot of uh, free painting frames. So that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please write them in the comments. And if you have any suggestions uh, on what to do, uh, yeah, I will read them and see you in the next video.